news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not going to believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Right there. Uh, welcome if to your new career see. as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes hello. will provide you with much needed information Blame on boy. how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. I gotta show you something. Right now we have two specially designed suits okay. that double so, as both in animatronic the corner, and if you see that mask so please pay close attention thing. while learning how to yeah, operate every time Springtrap comes in the hallway, that mask injury, disappears. Slash death, slash That's an awesome theory that Smike should use. That's how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound cues. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll tell you what happened. So um, yeah, bye.